In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how we can add calculated fields into our pivot tables. Now, if you're wondering what a calculated field is, it basically allows us to perform a calculation and add it as a column to our pivot table. And the calculation utilizes other fields that we already have available in our source data. For example, you can see here I've got a little pivot table. I've got some slices just above. But in this pivot table, if you take a look at the pivot table fields over on the right hand side, you can see I have the country in the rows and I'm displaying the sum of gross sales and the sum of the cogs. Now, the cogs is the cost of goods sold. Now, maybe my manager wants me to add a column to this table, which shows the difference between the costs and the sales as a percentage. Now, I don't have that data in my original data set. I don't have any columns that contain any percentages. But because working this out is a basic calculation, we just divide the sum of the cogs by the sum of the gross sales. We can do this by adding a calculated field. And that's the biggest thing you need to remember about calculated fields is that we're not actually doing the formula as in the cell references C12 divided by B12. We need to use the actual fields. So let's click in the pivot table. Let's go up to pivot table analyze. And in the calculations group, we have fields, items and sets. And this is where you're going to find the calculated field option. So if we click on this, it's going to open up this insert calculated field dialog box. And this is where we can give our calculated field a name. So this is going to appear as the heading for the column. So I'm just going to call this difference and we'll just put percentage in brackets. And then we get to add the formula. Now, as I mentioned, we don't come in here and do C2 divided by B2, that kind of thing. What we do is we use the fields in our pivot table. So to do this calculation, I want to do the sum of cogs. So I'm going to find that field, which is this one just here. Remember, these won't be aggregated, so it will just be the original field name, which is cogs in this case. I'm going to double click to add that into my formula. I'm going to say divide and we want to divide it by the gross sales. So again, I can simply double click to add that field in. And then what I can do is say add and it's going to add that as a field at the bottom. Can you see difference percentage? And now when I click on OK, it's going to add that column in sum of difference. Now, check out the number formatting. I haven't got the correct number formatting applied because I want these to show as percentages. And currently, you can see that they're taking on a currency or an accounting format. So we can simply right click, go to number format and change this to percentage. And I'm going to leave it at two decimal places, click on OK. And now we're seeing the sum of the difference between the costs and the gross sales as a percentage in its own column. And one of the cool things about adding a calculated field is that the field is then available in your pivot table fields list. You can see it there, difference to use throughout your pivot table. So if I wanted to use this again or move it to the columns or the filters, I could do that. So the key takeaways here when it comes to working with calculated fields is that you use the actual field as opposed to cell references in the formula. And if you want to get back to your calculated field and maybe make some changes, simply click in the column, go back to fields, item and sets, calculated field. And then from the drop down just here, if you click it, it's going to show all of the calculated fields that you've set up. So I can select difference and then I can see the formula underneath and make whatever changes I need. But that's it. Very simple to use calculated fields and add additional information into your pivot tables. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how we can add a calculated item to our pivot table. Now, a lot of people get confused between calculated fields that we looked at in the last lesson and calculated items. So before we move on to creating a calculated item, let's just really make sure that we understand the difference between the two. So let's scroll down to our pivot table. Now you can see here, I've just got my fields organized with the country and the product in the columns. So the top one is USA and then we have all of the products and we're displaying this by the sum of the profit. So all pretty straightforward so far. Also notice at the bottom of each group, we have the subtotal for each of the countries. Now, when we created a calculated field, we could only use the field names in our formula. And in this particular example, the field name would be country, for example, or product. 
Now, a calculated item is what we have below that. So the calculated items for country would be USA, Canada, Mexico, China, so on and so forth. So country is the field and the actual countries are considered the items. So when we add a calculated item to our pivot table, it means we're performing calculations on the actual items as opposed to the actual field. So with that in mind, let's see how we can add a quick calculated item because it is very similar to a calculated field. Now in this example, let's say that I'm only really interested in seeing information about Royal Oak and I want to see the sum of profit for Royal Oak for each of the countries as a percentage of the overall total for that country. Now, because I want to do a calculation on Royal Oak, that's a calculated item because the calculated field would be product. And another thing to remember here is that if you're clicked, let's say over here in the sum of profit and you go to pivot table, analyze fields, items and sets, notice that calculated item is grayed out because we're not currently clicked in a column where we can add a calculated item. As soon as I click in the product column into these items, it then becomes active. So let's click on calculated item and this looks very similar. So the first thing we need to do is we need to give a calculated item a name. So I'm just going to call this percentage profit of Royal Oak. And then we can construct our formula. And if you notice just below, we have the fields and then we have all of the items listed out. So we have country and all of the items that belong to country, region and all of the items that belong to region, so on and so forth. Now, this calculation that we need to do, we basically need to divide Royal Oak by the total of all of the items. So this now becomes really straightforward. We can simply double click to select Royal Oak. We're going to say divided by, we're going to open a bracket, and then we're going to add together all of the products, including Royal Oak. Now, unfortunately, you can't type in sum like you would if you were using cell references. So you basically need to add all these up together. So we're going to say Royal Oak plus Vermont plus Lux plus Kensington plus Mandarin plus Burlington and close the bracket. So that is the calculation. Let's click on add and OK. Now notice we get an extra row in our pivot table called percentage profit of Royal Oak. And notice that currently it's all showing in zero. Now that's because of the formatting that we have applied to this column of the table. I'm currently displaying this entire column as just regular number formatting with a comma separator. So it's trying to apply that same formatting to these values just here, which we need to be percentages. Now the problem we have here is if you right click and go to number format and change this to percentage and click on OK, it's going to change the whole column to percentages. So let's undo. Now there are numerous different ways that you could go about this, but if you've got a reasonably small data set, you can just simply select the cells and click on percentage format and there you have your totals. And I could then make them bold to make those stand out a little bit if I needed to. But that is the difference between a calculated field and a calculated item and how you add calculated items into your pivot tables. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.